I love that the Baton Rouge community is family. We love each other, we get along very well. Uh, it's a place that people feel comfortable raising their children, um, where generations and generations of families have been able to live, work, and play, and just have a really great time loving life. Uh, I love the fact that Baton Rouge, in Baton Rouge, we can do life together. We are the best of the best, and what makes this place and what makes these people I can't tell you, I just know that they are. I've never met a stranger here in the city. Uh, everywhere I've worked, gone to school, I've lived here my entire life, and Baton Rouge always feels like home. So I always feel safe, I always feel like I'm in a place of support and love and compassion, and I've always felt that my entire life here. We're a city full of dreamers. You know, a lot of people want more out of life, and I really enjoy that, seeing people want more and actually go for it. Baton Rouge being a diverse city that it is, we have the opportunity to be the next great city by helping each other reach their individual potential. And each individual being stronger makes our city stronger. I love the spirit of our community, uh, the fact that we can come together uh, in times of crisis and be there to really care about and do for one another. When people think about Baton Rouge and when they see Baton Rouge or they hear about Baton Rouge, they think of a place of unity and diversity and compassion and everyone being there for each other and a place where people don't feel afraid or they know that if something's going on or anything that has happened, it's not of sorrow, it's of joy and happiness and everyone being together and it's not a place of chaos and confusion but of structure and integrity and everything that a great community is built upon. I actually have never experienced racism. My mother, who is 78, never experienced racism. But there were opportunities within our community where it pos it's possible because we did not um, have to go outside of our community for church, for school, for work, to the grocery store. And so because um, all those things were in our communities, then it's possible that we were sheltered. The weekend of August 15th, 2016, it was like a great baptism that hit Baton Rouge with the flood waters. The waters were coming up. People were going out rescuing people. They didn't look at the color of your hands, if you were white or black or green or purple. People were helping one another. And that's what I would like to have, just a, a sense of community where everybody wants to work together. Everybody wants to help each other, like we did during the flood, like we're doing right now to rebuild Baton Rouge. Uh, what we need is a community that comes together and stays together. To make our community better, we have to first acknowledge some of our deficits, some of the gaps that we have. Um, it can be in our education system. It can be in um, our racial uh, divide th that we may have. It can be in differences in economic development. I think um, we have different sides of town that have different opportunities and different um, exposure to things and I think if we can bridge that gap and and acknowledge it first then we can move forward. By listening to each other, working together collaboratively, getting to know each other and building the community with one another and with the talents that are all around us. We have unlimited talents and, and human capital here because of the universities that we have, because of the because of the educational value of what we have right here in a capital city. Uh, I, I think that right now we are, the potential is endless for our community to keep growing, expanding, and getting better. But we'd have to listen and coordinate and collaborate with each other even more. I think that if we are able to maintain our sense of connectivity, our sense of being a family, uh, that's the improvement that I like to see is that we continue to do the things that we've always done very well as a community and not allow our community to be divided. How do we focus on staying together as one Baton Rouge and not letting things uh, such as all the things that have happened in our uh, community over the last six months divide us? I mean, if we're going to come together and we're going to say we care about each other, then in times of crisis, whether we agree or disagree, we have to find some common ground and work together towards solutions and not just out there angry about everything that happened. We need to take a step back, work hand in hand, so we can make a bigger step forward. Um, we need to work together that so our names go down in the history books and the generations after us follow, but not only follow, 
make a bigger step and surpass us. Baton Rouge will be an even stronger community once we start communicating with one another, once we understand the other person's point of view and put ourselves in their shoes and we walk that for about a mile or so. Whether it's treating our neighbors as ourselves or it's just listening and listening with both of our ears without talking and just understanding one another is gonna make the difference. And that's how we're gonna make this community stronger going forward. What I see for the future of this community is peace. And peace in the sense of a relief, a relief of all the stress and tension from everything that's been going on. And that burden will be lifted once we start getting to know each other and holding each other accountable. It is the coming together, it is that open communication where we began to heal and to see less and less about how it is that we are different and more and more on how we are alike. The way we can improve is by engaging each other in dialogue about what the issues are and offering real solutions. Whenever we come to the table, we need to have very, very honest conversations about what we feel could improve the city and then offer solutions about how we can take those things, implement them in our communities, and strive to be a better place, a better community, and a better city for our children to live in. Over the summer, I got to see a lot of young people rally together and put on a very peaceful protest. I hope that a lot of the older generations um, within this city can take notice of that and see and let the youth lead and let the youth be an example of how you can come together and simply just acknowledge each other and see how we can work in cohesion and um, really just take notice and follow the example that's been set by these, uh, these youth in Baton Rouge. Um, a lot of times, a lot of the adults get caught up in bickering and assuming things about one another without taking the time to actually realize that we're all in this together. This is one city, and we all have to be together in order for us to move forward. So what I really hope for is that we take notice of what the children are doing and um, really build upon that with each other. Baton Rouge has unified more than ever. Let's stay together. Let's stay together. Let's stay together. Let's commit in our hearts that we're not going to let this be a moment, but we're going to let it be a movement because we truly care about each other. So let's stay together. Let's stay together. Let's stay together. Baton Rouge is more united than ever. Let's stay together. Let's stay together. Let's stay together.